you doing? How are you? I'm good. Um, for you personally, you've always been a guy that people have said you've got the highest ceiling of anyone here. Right. Consistency has been the issue. How are you in, in becoming consistent? And you know, this is your last year. What's your approach coming into this year? Uh, really just having that focus and you know coming in every day, going hard and you know pushing my teammates, uh, worrying about zone six, making plays every chance I get. So. And has the consistency been there? This yes, summer? it has. Yep, working every day and you know making plays like I said, and you know keep attacking every day. And for you guys, you guys lost three senior captains. Right. On any other unit, any other team, people are saying, "Well, they're going to take a step backward." I get the sense from you guys that the standards been set, and you guys feel like you can be as good or better than than that you know, was last year. Right. Is yeah. that true? We coming, we coming in really trying to, you know, enhance that. You know, we're not trying to take a step back. We keep it enhancing every day, you know. You know, three guys, we lost some great guys, you know. We just going to continue to get better and, you know, reach that potential. Yeah, elaborate on your expectations, your personal expectations. Bill was just asking you about that. But, you know, building on things like your big play in the Penn State game last year, especially now as a senior, just your personal expectations going into your final collegiate season. Really, I feel like uh, if you worry about the team and, you know, try to help the team every way you get, every, every chance you get, you know, your, uh, your personal goals, Go overcome itself, so that's what I'm worried about. Just helping my team and do everything I can to help them. As you reflect on last year and even maybe earlier in your career, then that's one of the big plays you've made. Just uh, you know, discuss that a little bit and how much that's going to help you this year. Uh, every time, like I said, every time I go in, you know, a play is called for me, or you know, it was it was blocking or the ball is coming to me. I just got to go in and have that mindset. Yeah, I'm, I got to make this play every chance I get. What are you seeing from Justin so far? I know it's it's. Uh, still kind of early, but he was right. just named starting quarterback the other day. Uh, what do you see from Justin in the camp so far? Uh, Justin's a great guy. You know, he's making them throws. He's a, a hard worker. And, you know, I'm ready for the season. We're ready to attack this. Of the guys we know about you and Austin and, and KJ, obviously, right. Chris came on last year. Who of the, the lesser known guys in the general public have really emerged and who are you excited to see on Saturdays? Uh, we have a lot of guys. You know, um, my biggest guy is uh, CJ Saunders. He's a great. You know, receiver, you know, walk on now on scholarship. He's a hard worker. He never complains. He just put his head down and goes. So I'm excited to see where his future is. What about Garrett Wilson? Garrett Wilson, well, he's a young guy. Him and, uh, you know, J-Mo, uh, Jameson Wilson, he, them boys coming in and working. You know, we're going to see where their future goes as well. Guys, we've heard uh, the defense is making, forcing a lot of turnovers mm -hmm. this camp. What are they doing differently that compared to last year in that regard? Uh, the defense actually is making us better as receivers, at a, as an offense. So, uh, you know, every chance they get, they try to pop the ball out and do stuff like that. So we got to take care of the ball, you know, you know, make plays as we usually do. Have you noticed the, the, the chip on their shoulder, the edge that they're playing with mm -hmm. that they maybe didn't have last year? Or? Most definitely, most definitely. They definitely got a chip on their shoulder. And I'm ready to see what they have this year, to be honest. Yeah, I asked you about consistency. Mm -hmm. What kind of receiver do to become consistent? I mean, it's something that's easy to talk about, but how do you do it? I feel like you just gotta block the outside noise and you know put your head down and work as hard as you can. You know, like I said before, just anytime you know it's time for you to make a play or uh, your number is called, like coach say, you just gotta go out there and make that play. And how much of that is what you do in, in the off season, in the summertime, and all that? Uh, you just gotta. Uh, what I had been doing was basically working on my uh, like weaknesses and you know making it stronger. So we gonna see how the season goes. Anything in particular? Uh, you know, like my deep balls and stuff like that, little stuff. What was Justin like this summer as far as like organizing and throwing and stuff like that? Uh, the, uh, the QBs and Justin and the QBs and the wide out, we do every day. So um, we got a great connection. We just going to see how season rolls. Is yeah. there like comfort in seeing the finally named starting quarterback? You know who's going to be throwing you the ball this year? I mean, yeah, but uh, I feel like all the QBs came in and, and competed. And, you know, Justin, I guess, you know, won the spot. But every, every QB is doing their job. What, what does it mean to, to the team, uh, Benjamin, when – they named Justin the starting quarterback, at least for the first game and stuff. What what does that change? How, how did things change the last couple of days, I guess? Uh, I didn't see any change because, to be honest, everybody been, all the QBs and Justin as well, all been working hard and, you know, making the plays that they should put, uh, make. But, you know, him being named the starter is just yeah. really just a saying. So. What's, what's going to be different about this offense with him at quarterback, in your opinion, compared to like a year ago with, uh, I mean, you know, he, he tried 533 passes last year. You know? Right, but uh, they two different quarterbacks, you know, you, you can tell by that. But um, I feel like Justin could make those throws and, you know, he could get it there. So 
he's gonna be a fun year. How's your partner in crime, Austin Mack, doing? I know he's been banged up a little bit, but how's he doing right Austin's now? Austin's doing great right now. He's just ready to get back on the field. He's gonna make some plays for us as well. It, it has time flown by? It seems like just yesterday you guys were true freshmen coming in together. Yeah. We were interviewing you guys. Or does it seem like it's been a while? Right. It, it, it really flew by, to be honest. You know, we, we seniors now. We just gotta hold that standard and then, you know, make it work. Hey, we're, Ben, what's uh, Chris Olave like in practice? Oh, Chris. Is he just crazy good? Or <laughs> what? Chris is funny, man. That's my that's my young boy. But he, uh, he's a great worker. He he go out there and work hard every day. And, you know, he make those plays as well in practice. He had a great fall camp, so I'm really excited for him. Ben, you future. you were in this program for a few years. You understood the idea of having to wait your turn. Mm -hmm. Chris comes in and does that. What he did in the Michigan game as a true freshman. Right. When you were on the team and you know you're with these guys every day, can you tell when somebody has a spark to be great immediately? Like, I mean, or are we reading too much into that? Um, I feel like there's no such thing as when you'll turn, to be honest. It's just uh, the time, your numbers call, or, you know, like if you're ready or not, basically. So he was ready for that time. He made the plays that he needed to make, and then now he's enhancing. So he got a great year coming to form. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, Ben. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it.